Hello everyone. In this video, I'll let you know the step by step procedure of drawing a regular polygon. In the previous video, I have discussed uh, the construction of a regular polygon in one kind of method. In this, we'll see another method using protractor and compass. So, our objective is to construct a regular polygon of side 40 mm. For this, I have to draw a line of 40 mm and name the line as A, B. After that, extend the line A, B to another 40 mm. That is up to 80. Name it as some X. Now, taking B as center, BX as radius, draw a semicircle. Take B as center, BX as radius, draw a semicircle. which touches A. After drawing the semicircle, we have to divide the semicircle into the number of parts depending upon the sides of the polygon. For example, if I am, I wish to draw a pentagon, I have to divide the semicircle into 5 parts. If it is of hexagon, I have to divide it into 6 parts. Now, I will draw a pentagon. For that, I have to divide the semicircle that is of 180 degree into 5 equal parts that is 36. So, each part will be of 36 degrees. For this, I will use a protractor and place the protractor center at the point B and mark the value 35, 35 and sorry, 36. This is 36. Draw a line from B, draw a line B to the marked point. That is now we have divided the semicircle into one part. For dividing into five parts, we will measure the value, mark this point as 1. Taking x1 as radius, taking x1 as radius, mark other four points onto the semicircle. Name them as 2, 3, 4, 5. Now join B2, B3, B4. Now we have divided the given semicircle into 5 equal parts as we are drawing a pentagon. For any polygon, the first drawn line will be the first base and the second line will be the second base. We have to draw other two lines, other three sides. So, whatever may the polygon, for example, if it is a hexagon, you have to consider the second line. If it is septagon, you have to consider the second line as a second base. Now, we have to divide AB into half, B1 in, B2 into half. For that, you have to draw. Now, I am perpendicular bisecting the line AB. For that, Take more than half with A as center, draw an arc above and below. And with B as center, draw an arc above and below. See that both the arcs join and join these two arcs. Now we have divided AB into two halves. Also divide B2 into two halves. For that, take more than half. With B as center, draw an arc above and below. And now with 2 as center, draw an arc above and below. It's two points. We can see that these two perpendicular bisectors join at one point. Name that point as O. Now take a compass. With O as center and OA as radius, 
draw a circle touching the point B. I repeat with O as center, OA as radius, draw a circle touching the point B. Right. Circle, measure the value of AB. After measuring, place the value onto the circles. Now, join the arcs which we have marked onto the circle. Now, we have drawn a hexagon pentagon. Darken the sides, five sides of the pentagon using HB pencil. Name it as, this one is A, B, C, D, and E. So, this is our required pentagon of A, B, C, D side 40 m. You can repeat the same procedure for different polygons. If, if it is hexagon, divide the semicircle into 6. If it is septagon, divide the semicircle into 7. Octagon, divide the semicircle into 8 equal parts.